Now, as the pandemic nears its one year mark, we need to remind ourselves that amongst the health challenges that have been presented by the coronavirus disease, scammers are upping their game to steal your hard earned money. I wanna talk about one type of scam that seems to elude our spidey senses and is causing Americans to lose hundreds of millions of dollars. So let's open an investigation. Recently, the Federal Trade Commission sent out a warning regarding ways in which fraudsters are taking advantage of the international pandemic and our fears. Fear is the tool of a scammer, and they have glommed onto our fear of the disease in a really troubling way. In the United States, the government has invested billions of dollars in pharmaceutical companies, all to produce a vaccine that will protect us from the novel coronavirus. Fraudsters jumped on the bandwagon immediately and started offering bogus clinical trials. Jim Kreidler wrote an informative article in October of 2020 called uh, COVID-19 Clinical Trial, Real or Fake? I'd encourage you to read that. Kreidler said that the bogus companies might offer things like doctor's care and more, including maybe a $1,000 payment for participating, but as soon as you sign up, they try to charge at you access or they ask for your social security number, your bank account number, or your credit card number. If someone does this, run. We're seeing fewer COVID-19 trial scams now as the vaccine starts to roll out. But what we are seeing is an uptick in the utility bill refund scam. Now, there are a number of people reporting that an employee, supposedly, from their local utility company is reaching out to them, informing them that they'd overpaid their bill or that there's been some substantial refund that they want to process and get back to them. The caller says all you need to do is simply press a button on your phone to get the refund or discounts. If you get this call, don't do it. Think it through. Ask yourself, do utility companies really call and offer to send your money back? No way. If you have a credit coming, they'll put it into your account. So please, follow these simple pieces of advice that come from the Federal Trade Commission. If you receive one of these calls, consider doing this. First, consider hanging up the phone immediately. Do not press any numbers or respond to any questions. Two, never give your caller your social security number, account details, or anything else. It takes very little information for scammers to steal your money. Third, call your utility company using the number found on your bill and tell them about the call you've received. The utility bill refund scam is joining COVID scams that are going around right now. Don't release any information you have to someone who calls you on the phone. If they say they're from your bank, hang up and call the number from your account statement and inquire about the call. This strategy works with any kind of identifiable information from someone who might be trying to solicit you over the phone. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time on Profiling Evil's Public Record.